Miss Helen. Hi. How are you feeling? Helping others live a great life is how Rachel Payne is paying it forward. She faced death at an early age when she was diagnosed with an incurable autoimmune disorder. Her kidneys shut down. She was not a candidate for transplant. Rachel was told there was no hope and she would not survive. Looked at me straight in my face and he says, well, it's time for you to make your final arrangements. You will not be considered for a transplant because frankly, it's gonna be a waste of a good kidney. And I was like, I was newly single. My son was three. And I said, with all due respect, doctor, I can't tell my son to prepare to live without his mom. And he said, uh, well, you can do whatever you want, but a transplant coordinator's not gonna talk to you. And I said, you know what? You don't know me. And I walked out of his office. Rachel was angry, but that anger fueled her inspiration to not give up. It was not easy, but she finally found a kidney transplant coordinator who was willing to defy the odds, take her case, and give her hope. I can't even remember how I found her, but she was a blessing because she was my first and only advocate. She walked me through everything. I was completely ignorant about the process, and she told me where to go, what to do, who to talk to, the paperwork I needed. She got me on the transplant list. She got me dialysis. It was amazing. I credit her with saving my life. But the life-saving treatment of dialysis caused severe seizures. She spent months in the cardiac intensive care unit. Her family wondered if she was going to make it. But I had a bull to fight. And I told people, don't worry, I'm just off fighting a bull. And I would literally picture myself grabbing this bull by the horns. I would dig my heels in, grit my teeth, and I fought. And then one night she got the call she'd been waiting for. Rachel was one of three patients who could possibly match for a kidney. The doctor comes in and he says, well, Rachel, this gentleman was an adamant organ donor. He was a lawyer from Texas and a retired bull rider. Oh. <laughs> I looked at my mom and I looked at him and I said, doc, that kidney's mine. Rachel was a perfect match. Her life began again. She was determined to become a nurse and help others like those who helped save her life. She did it through the Ticket to Work program through the Mississippi Department of Rehabilitation Services. Her vocational rehab counselor walked her through the process of choosing a nursing program and a school. She also helped her fill out the paperwork to meet all the requirements for getting the cost covered by MDRS. I got to tell you, she was fantastic. She went and we went in and talked to the president of the, the nursing school, and she spent an hour in her office asking her every little thing. Okay, what are the demands that Rachel's gonna have to go through? What's gonna happen to her body just going through nursing school? And then what are her challenges when she becomes a nurse? And um, so that was, that was really kind of cool because they were looking at every single aspect because they wanted to set me up for success. They wanted me to be able to follow my passion, but in a realistic manner. She doesn't really look back. You know, she's appreciative of how far she's come and, um, but doesn't let any of that hold her back. I've never been so proud, you know, of a client as seeing what she's overcome. And um, she's, she's really uh, gone after it. She knew what she wanted and she will continue to progress and do well. And she will meet her goal. I'm totally confident of that. In this particular case, to, to help an individual who wanted to go in the nursing field, who you know, needed the assistance from the Mississippi Department of Rehab Services, and for our agency to, to really provide those services and help her reach her dream of, of being in the nursing, you know, being in that realm. And then like you said, to be able to pay it forward, to take what she's you know, learned and, and what she's experienced and really help other people across the state is, is such an awesome thing people who are on disability know that that's not the extent of who you are. You know, you can have a fulfilling career. You can make a contribution. And I think that's very important for people to know. Rachel is now a nurse at Providence Hospital in Mobile, Alabama. You want your patients to feel loved, feel cared for when they're at their most vulnerable time in their life. 
Um, and I think that's what she provides, and I think she's able to provide it on a much different level. 19 years to the month that I was told to make my final arrangements, I became an Aryan. To the month. That was awesome. I'm paying it forward. I'm, I'm trying to live a life worthy of that gift, because that is a gift. To learn more about opportunities for independence provided by the Mississippi Department of Rehabilitation Services, visit mdrs.ms.gov.